guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Welcome to the first exporting results struggle. In these videos, I'm going to talk about how to export your regression and your summary stats. In these videos, I'm going to show you how to make professional looking tables, both for your regression results and summary statistics, as well as other sorts of tests. Not only are they going to look really nice, it's going to be really easy to incorporate them into your LaTeX output if you're writing your paper in LaTeX. And make it easier if you need to rerun all of your analyses due to a data change or a slight tweak that you want to make. It's going to automatically update all your tables, all those numbers for you, and it's just going to be a lot easier to make sure that you don't make any mistakes when you're reporting your results. So here is a basic table that I made in LaTeX from the Stata command S tab and S out. You can see it looks really nice. We've got nice labels on all our variables. We've got titles on our columns. We can add notes down here if we want, but this is a really simple table and it's really useful and a lot easier to put into LaTeX than say like an Outreg 2 that comes out in Word or .xls. Now unsurprisingly, I did not come up with all of this code. I'm using this guide. It's called the Stata to LaTeX guide on medium.com. I'm gonna put a link to this guide in the description of the playlist. I think it's really useful. I follow it pretty often. I will also put the code for all of these videos in the description of that particular video. So feel free to use any of these resources that you think are helpful. I think the main thing as we're going through this guide that you're gonna get out of these videos, is not only am I gonna show you the technical part of how the code works, I'm gonna point out different formatting choices that I think are useful to your reader and how you can make your table as easy to read as possible. Just to give you an idea of one reason why I think STAB and STO are so much better than Outreg 2, is if I have two regressions that I'm using on this auto data, and again, I'm only gonna use data sets that come with Stata so that you're not trying to find new data as well as look at these videos. So I'm using this auto data and I just wanna run a two regression table that you saw before. You can see for Outreg 2, it's a little clunky. I have a lot of options I need to put in for each table just to get a two column table in XLS or Excel. For STO and STAB, I can run all my regressions together and then I just have one block of code to make the actual table in a .tech format, which is really nice. It's also really nice that even though I ran these regressions in this order, they don't have to stay in this order. I can reorder them in my STAB command and I'll show you that in a future video. Again, this is really just a preview of what we're gonna talk about in the rest of these reporting results videos. So like and subscribe if you think these are gonna be useful and check back for the next one. We will see you next time for another case of Econ Struggles.